Hello everyone, I'm recording this video to show you three methods that you can use when you're multiplying and three methods that you can use when you're dividing. So if you have some homework or some classwork which requires you to multiply and divide, you can choose one of these methods and they should help you along. So the first question we have here is multiplication and we're doing six multiplied by four. There's several ways you can do this. I'm going to show you three. So the first way that I could do six multiplied by four is I could use my physical resources. And six multiplied by four is the same as saying six lots of or six groups of four. So I've got my multi-link here and I've arranged my multi-link into groups of four. So in order to solve this sum, I need six groups of four and then I'll count my total and that will answer my question six multiplied by four. So that's one group of four, two groups of four, three groups of four, four groups of four, five groups of four, and six groups of four. So now I've made my six lots of, or six groups of four, all I need to do is count the multi-link I've got in total, and that will give me the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And that will tell me that the answer to six times four should be 24. However, I can check that and prove it by using another method. This method involves a little bit of drawing and it's using an array. So it's going to be quite similar to using the multi-link, but it's a more pictorial representation of this sum. So six groups of four, if I'm going to make an array, what I'm going to do is create groups of four dots like this. And then I'm going to do six of them. So that's one group of four, two groups of four, and so on. And so I have six groups of four. Now, it doesn't matter how you orientate your array. You could do it like this, or you could do it so the fours go across and you do six rows, as long as you have six groups of four, you should have the right answer. Then it's just a case of us, again, adding up the total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, which is the same answer. Happy days. The last way we can do it is literally just using our four times table or counting in fours. So if we count six lots of four, we can go four, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So that's six lots of four. Or we could have written out our four times table. We could have started at four times one equals four and carried on and carried on until we got to four times six. We could have written out our six times table. Or we could have said, well, I know, because I'm very confident with my fives, that five times four would be 20. And therefore, if I do one more, six times four, that's one more lot of four on top. 20 plus four is 24, which gives us that same answer. So three methods that we have uh, in our arsenal. Don't really like to use that term, but three methods that we have in our maths arsenal that we can use to multiply. We can either use physical resources. We can use things, pictorial methods like arrays, or we can use mental methods which re require us to know our multiplication tables. Now, moving on to division, I'm going to show you another three ways that you can uh, do division, quite similar ways, to be honest. Um, three different ways that we can do 32 divided by four. So my first method, again, involved me using my physical resources and it involved me using my multi-link. The first thing I'm going to do is get myself 32 pieces of multi-link. So through the magic of uh, video wizardry, I'm going to make 32 pieces of multi-link appear instantly. There we go. As if by magic, I now have 32 pieces of multi-link. And now my job is to group them because when we do 32 divided by four, uh, 32 divided by four can mean 32 uh, grouped into fours, or it can mean 32 shared equally between four different groups. So what I'm going to demonstrate now is grouping. And what I'm going to do is start grouping my multi-link together into fours. So there's one group of four.
So there's another group of four. And I'm going to continue doing that until I've grouped all of my multi-link into groups of four. And through the magic of video editing, I now have grouped all of my 32 blocks into groups of four. And what we can see is that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups, which implies or suggests that 32 divided by four equals eight. Now I can check that by actually using another method which makes use of our physical resources, in this case, our, in this case, our multi-link. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to share the multi-link into four equal groups. So I'm going to make four groups here. I'm going to actually just draw some sort of circles so I can separate slightly. And I'm going to share my multi-link equally into four groups. So I'm going to take one, so go one, two, three, four, then I'm going to take another set. One, two, three, four, just adding one to my group each time. And then what I'm going to do when I finish is see when I've shared it into four groups, how many are in each group. And there we go through the magic of video editing. Again, I have now sorted my multi-link into four different groups. Obviously, they didn't fit in the circles that I'd drawn, but I just kept adding one to each group until I was finished. And now, to answer my question, I've shared them into four equal groups. My question now is not how many groups there are, because I already know that. I knew I was doing four equal groups. My question now is how many are in each group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, meaning that the answer indeed to 32 divided by four is eight. So what I'm going to do now is show you a couple of pictorial methods, one more mental method, and then this video will be done. So for the first pictorial method I'm going to use, I'm actually going to make use of my circles here. Um, and I'm going to share, again, 32 within my four groups. But what I'm going to do is share 32 dots uh, across the four groups, just the same way I did with the multi-link, by adding one to each group each time. So one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to carry on until I've got to 32 altogether. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So I've shared my 32 dots into four equal groups. And just like the last multi-link method we looked at, the question now is not how many groups there are, because we know how many groups there are. We made four groups to start with because we were dividing by four or sharing into four groups. My question is how many are in each group? And I can count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, implying the answer. So 32 divided by four is eight. Uh, the other pictorial method that we can do is we can draw 32 dots and then we can group them into fours. So if I draw some dots here, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. What I'm going to do now with my dots is start making them into groups of four or grouping them into fours. So there's one group of four, another group of four, and then I'm going to take two from underneath to make another four, go back along the line for another group of four, and another group of four. And then I could start at this end, but I actually am going to start at this end again to make my next group another group of four and then finally i've got my four here so i'm going to group them as well so now i've split my 32 dots into groups of four this time my question is how many groups have i got one two three four five six seven eight again proving the answer is 32 divided by four is eight Finally, then, uh, we can use our mental methods and we can use our multiplication tables and our related division facts. So if we know that 4 multiplied by 8 equals 32, we also know that 32 divided by 4 equals 8. 
We also know that 8 times 4 is 32, and that 32 divided by 8 equals 4. But obviously the question we were doing was dividing by 4. So our 4 times table can come in handy, just as it did um, with our multiplication. And if we weren't sure about this multiplication fact, we could always work up to it. So we know that 4 times 5 is 20, because we're confident with our 5 times table. Then we know that 4 times 6 would be 4 more than that, so that would be 24. So then 4 times 7 would be 4 more than that, which is 28. And then 4 times 8 would be 4 more than that, which is 32. So once we've got that multiplication fact, 4 times 8 equals 32, we know, therefore, that 32 divided by 4 would be 8, and that 32 divided by 8 would be 4. The quickest and most efficient of these methods is definitely the mental ones. And that's why understanding our multiplication tables can really help us do more complicated maths more quickly. However, if you're at a stage where you don't feel confident with your four times table and you are multiplying and dividing by four, using physical resources like Multilink or using pictorial methods like arrays or just grouping and sharing can really help you as well. So hopefully those methods make sense. As always, any questions, just come and find me any part in the school day, and I'll be happy to go through these in more detail. Have a great day, guys. See you later.